hey, let's hey, let's, let's do just, something. Let's start our show. Let's start our show again. Uh, again for the fourth time. Fourth time, fifth time is a charm. Come on in and have a good old time. Have a fun time with two bros. We're having a good time, never a bad time. Having a fun time, never a dumb time. Down on the bed. Welcome everybody. Hey everybody. To the Biv Bros Show. Number one. Numero Woo. uno. Biv Bros Show. Boo, 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 yeah. boo, boo. This show, this concept, this whole thing sort of came up because uh, we no longer live in the same city and that made us sad. So yeah. we decided that it would be really fun if we just sort of found a way to be together on at least camera talking about mm-hmm. things. Yeah. It's the Biv Bros Show. I actually have a haptic suit, so if you want to hug, I'll feel it. I don't know if you have a haptic suit, but I'll feel it. Okay, here we go. Well, I don't have it on right now. Oh. <laughs> I should take a picture at some point of what's happening here. There's a laptop. There's. Yep. I've got three different light situations going on. Uh, okay. Sometimes I'll look down at the, at the laptop, so don't get confused. I'm yeah, actually, me too. That's the only way I can look at That's the only way I can see Evan. Yeah, of we're just, that's when we're stuff. checking our stuff. We're checking our stuff. We want to make sure everything's okay. Yeah, we're just looking at the internet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why not? Checking, checking socials. Yeah. So I'm trying to show. speak more from my diaphragm mm, so that right. I sound less like a dork. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but then I keep forgetting to do it. So <laughs> then I, yeah. I don't know. I just feel like I would, might sound better. But then, I, but then I think, oh, no, I'm, I'm going to sound like Elizabeth Holmes. You, are you familiar with Elizabeth Holmes? Mm-mm. Oh, man. Uh, you got to find out all about her. Okay. Elizabeth Holmes uh, was the president and CEO of a company called Theranos. Oh, now I know who you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. Total psychopath, psychopath, pretty much. I yeah. mean, I think so. Probably. She was extremely young when she started Theranos. I mean, I think she dropped out of college and was essentially like 20, 19 or 20. Um, And she was concerned that she wasn't going to be taken seriously being, first of all, a woman in that field, which is, you know, dominated by men. Um, But also she's just kind of. Silicon Silicon Valley, right? We're talking about that, that field. Sorry, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So Silicon Valley and the startup. atmosphere world. Mm-hmm. the tech world and she thought oh no one's gonna take me seriously because she she's she's a pretty girl she you know kind of uh cheerleader looking in the in the beginning so she that's when she got the turtlenecks and she would start talking like this no low voice the, find a youtube clip of her being interviewed <laughs> it's it's comical because she's doing it but it feels like she's having to think so hard to remember to keep doing it. First they think you're crazy, then they fight you, and then all of a sudden you change the world. What about Holmes? Studies have shown that lower register voices mm-hmm. are more commanding, and that's what she was going for. But it just it it's sounds so weird. It sounds so weird. So anyway, you know, now that we're doing this and I want to project like my – my mom would be, I feel like my mom would be proud of me if I spoke from my diaphragm and projected, even though I have a microphone here and I don't need to project. Right. But um, I don't want to sound like Elizabeth Holmes. So you guys can help me be the judge if I'm sounding really weird. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's my story. I love it. I love that story. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. So Bivens Brothers is going to consist of a series of segments that we are going to be putting together for fun. And, and again, as, as a way for us to hang out with each other, there's going to be some segments about, about music, of course, because hopefully, you know, we are, we are still in a, because we are still in a rock and roll band and music is kind of a part of our lives. <laughs> we also, you know, we also both enjoy cooking and eating food. Evan eats a lot of food. People have been interested in, in knowing about that. Mm. 
You, you're interested until you find out, and then you won't be interested anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be sort of a cliffhanger in season yeah. one. Will you or won't you? Will I eat it or will I not eat it? The answer is I'm going to have to eat it. <laughs> I think we're going to be reviewing tech tech things and and movies and comic books and all kinds of oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Because we like sure. to hang out. We do this yeah. anyway. This is what we do. We're inviting yeah. you into our lives, our daily routines. That's right. And and a couple of these ideas we've had have centered around Dungeons and Dragons and the the, you know, the use of, of dice to randomize your world a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. when, when we were small, uh, Evan and I played Dungeons and Dragons. Do we need to explain what Dungeons and Dragons is? Is there anyone out there who doesn't know what, what it is? I don't. <laughs> okay, so if, if you live under a rock, Dungeons and Dragons is what's called a role-playing game. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really, it was actually the original, I just read this. I read an amazing article on io9 about Gary, Gy, uh, Gary Gygax, what? No, about his wife, Gail? No, a different one. About uh, uh, well, yes, it was, it was about her and, and how she's trying to protect his legacy and she's kind of become totally paranoid Same. that everyone's out to get her. Yeah. What I didn't know was that Dungeons and Dragons was the first new kind of tabletop game in hundreds of years. Hundreds of years, yeah, right. Me too. I, I was stunned at that. So it's a role-playing game. People sit around. Usually, you know, like, it's, it's great if you have four to five people. They sit around, and then, you, and then one of those people is what's called the dungeon master. Right. And the dungeon master already knows everything about the, the game that you're going to play. And he's kind of, or she, is leading, uh, or they. Hey, this is an inclusive show. <laughs> uh, the game is really great when you, like I said, you have four to five people. Right. Matt friends, and I had friends. actual. If you it, when you have friends, Matt and I had each other. <laughs> Which is, you technically can still play Dungeons and Dragons this way with one, one, one person being an active player character, and then you can have as many what they call non-player characters <laughs> or NPCs as you want. Well, I guess we probably had more than a few. <laughs> Matt was the dungeon master because he liked to read, uh -huh. and I was not the dungeon master because I did not like to read or do any work of any kind. I just wanted to play. <laughs> we had no friends, so yep. no one else would, would be in our party, and I would, I would help sort of read up and create these elaborate adventures for Evan, all these different dungeons and creatures to meet and act, <laughs> act to out meet. All, all the ah, look at this monster that we've met. <laughs> Kill. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our relationship with Dungeons and Dragons, and we thought it would be fun to sort of revisit this. So uh, one idea we had to sort of get this ball rolling or this die rolling on our music review series is to incorporate dice into the choice of bands that we were going to review. You know, the, the caveat here is that Matt or I are, are not really... Um, qualified to review <laughs> other artists <laughs> in any in any way because we do, you know we don't have a breadth of knowledge we we play music we are musicians and we've, we you know we, we and we have our sense of aesthetic we know what we like what we think is good and what we think is bad and so we'll offer you that but as we get into this you're going to find out that we may not know what we're talking about we are excited about the experiment yes of how we're going to go about finding new music. That's and the best part. Now, Matt's going to tell you how we're going to do that. All right, bro yeah. All right brother. So this is the way it's going to work. I'm, I'm starting on Apple Music's Jump Little Children page. It's the official page where you can listen. If you have a, a subscription to Apple Music, you can listen to all of our albums and some other mm -hmm. things, some EPs and so on and so forth. Uh, it has a little nice little bio. Every artist has one. What we're talking about here is the at the very bottom of, of of this page is a list of similar artists. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them. There and that's why we have the ten sided die. And that's why we have the ten sided die. Today we have Jay Clifford, of course, as a solo artist, Rosebud, Jay Clifford's side project, of course. 
uh, the working title, Friends of Ours in Charleston, Guster, Slow Runner, also some of our best pals, uh, Aqualung, uh, Greg Laswell, David Mead, another good friend, Carrie Brothers, and then Matt Pond, PA. Uh, so some of these bands, yeah. of course, we know personally, and some we don't know at all. So we're not going to listen to any of these bands. <laughs> no. Not right. one. These bands right. are off the list. Right. Great. I am now going to randomize the first artist. I rolled a six. One, two, three, four, five. Aqualung. Evan is now going to roll a, a, a 1d6, and then we're going to go repeat this, this process uh, that number of levels away from John Little Children. What you got? Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three. Three. Not bad. Not a bad start. All right. So Aqualung's similar artists are Carrie Brothers, The Perishers. Greg Laswell, Travis, mm, this is getting exciting, Landon Pig, I know Landon Pig, it's music, Athlete, Pilot Speed, Pete Yorn, Keen, and Death Cab for Cutie. Really getting exciting already. I rolled a seven. So, Pilot Speed is the second band. Never heard of them, but we're not going to listen to them either. We're, we're skipping Pilot Speed. Godspeed, Pilot Speed. Uh, <laughs> all kinds of bands. Stars of Track. And Field, Born, Vega 4, Rock Kills Kid, The Cinematics, Great Northern, Testral Reflex, Office, The Working Title. Oh, and People in Planes. Is this our working title level? I know. One of them that we do know. Yeah. Uh, this is level three, right? This, 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 this next roll will be level three, right? Because this is level two. So one more. And we've got one more level. Yes. You and you get one more level. Yeah. Test Your Reflex, ladies and gentlemen, is a Test band. Test Your Reflex. Test Your Reflex. Test Your Reflex. Test your That's reflex. the band that we're going to listen to. It's the first band that we're going to listen to in this segment called D6 Degrees of Jump Little Children. In this case, it's three degrees of Jump Little Children. Similar artists on Apple Music. Heavily inspired by the sincere and anthemic rock of 80s stars like U2, Peter Gabriel, uh, The Police and Simple Minds. That's a great start. Uh, test your reflex, update that vintage sound to form akin to contemporaries like Arcade Fire and The Faint. Oh, I, I'm kind of excited about this already. Uh, I, see, I only see one record. I only see one album. I only that, see one do album. you see that? I only do. I only see one album. It's called well, that makes Burning it simple. Hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this definitely makes it easy. What we're going to do is roll a 12-sided die, since there's only 12 songs, and, and figure out which track we're gonna, going to listen to. And feel free to go open up your iTunes and listen to, or Spotify, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you already own this record and listen to this track with us. And, yes. brother, that will be? Uh, the first track off of Test Your Reflexes, The Burning Hour, 2007, is... Do We Belong, track seven. Do we belong? Do we belong? Test Ooh, your girl. reflex. Do girl. we belong? Test your reflex. Test your reflex. One, two, three. Everybody knows I don't eat no meat, except for when I eat a tasty treat. Go meat. Test your reflex. All right, brother. Break out your iTunes. Break out your iTunes. And listen along listen. with us. Um, and the way that we're going to do this is we're basically going to have a countdown, three, two, one, and then we're going to hit play at the same time. Right? Yeah, it's going to be okay. great. Three, two, one. Pat, boom, Debbie, boom. Snappy. It's a snap guy, snappy beat. It's snappy. Oh. Yeah. Vocals. Robert I Smith like in the house? It's like a little Robert Smithy, but not in a bad way. Oh, no. You lost me. Oh. <laughs> Just became like the killers. All right. Should we cut it there? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. They had me for a second. Uh huh. Uh, the singer reminds me of, it was very strongly of, Robert Smith, mm -hmm. um, maybe with a little bit of Elvis Costello thrown in, yeah, just a touch. Know. Yeah, a little bit more strokesy than straight up Robert Smith, maybe. Right. But mm -hmm. um, 
And it, it even had that kind of, you know, people think that the cure is really goth just because Robert Smith looks like a goth weirdo. Um, and and the, I guess the record disintegration is pretty morbid, but for the most part, it's all jingle jangly, happy It's pretty pop. happy stuff, yeah. And this, this, it kind of sounded like that at first, like, okay, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm dancing along, I'm going along with the snappy beat. Mm -hmm. And then it just became like, um, a Franz Ferdinand or, a or a killers, killers song. Yeah. And I don't have anything against the killers, but, and I guess that, honestly, to be correct, this is 2007 when this was released. Right. That's really, so they were contemporaries. Of the yes, killers, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, maybe so the you know, stole from them, could be. We I don't. Where are these guys from, or ladies, or uh, ladies and fellas? Test your reflex. It formed in the Los Angeles suburb of Thousand Oaks, California, in 2004. Where are the killers from? Where are they from? Uh, I, wouldn't you say they're from California too? I don't know. It could be, or they could be from Minnesota, for all I know. <laughs> the killers are from Los Angeles. I Vegas. knew that. Mm -hmm. Once it got into the killer section, it lost me. It didn't. Yeah. It, uh, it sounded so much like the killers, but it didn't. You know, the killers are they're they, they're a good hooky band. Whether you like the killers or not, I'm not right. crazy about them. But the killers are the kind of band that I feel like if I grew up. Um, if I was coming of age as they got famous, I would really be into them. Right. Right? Yeah. As an adult, I'm like, yeah, that sounds good, but I'm not rushing out the door to go right. get the record. Sorry, test reflex. Uh, I wonder what happened to them. If you can find out what happened to them. Yeah. And I'm sure you can just by going to their Wikipedia page. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. So now, test your reflex. I just went to, I just beat you guys to it. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I went to their Wikipedia page, and they are now called Wildling. No. Also previously known as No Country, and also known as Low Shoulder. This is the band with the most names. <laughs> Apparently, their years active were 2004 to present, so they are still around. So the members, Ryan Levine, or Levine, Justin Levine for others, I assume, maybe cousins, Eric Jansen, Andrew Empire and Casey. Oh goodness, I can't pronounce that. One lavish. It looks Polish. One lavish. Um, sorry, Casey. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mangle your name. One lavish. So a little recap here. Uh, Evan has discovered Test Your Reflex became after many many uh, permutations became Wildling. So luckily we found a Wildling track. We figured, hey, the whole point of this is to discover new music, new bands, new things. So now we're going to give Wildling single, uh, 2018, yep. uh, called Cameras. Yep. Ready? Mm-hmm. Three, two. Okay. Oh. Mm. I feel like I've heard this before. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. There it is. Interesting. <clears throat> Very large uh, stylistic leap, in my opinion, from uh, uh, Test Your Reflex. Uh, test Your Reflex. <laughs> from Test Your Reflex to Wildling. Uh, Ryan yeah. Lee Singer's voice has become more of this growly, deeper sort of thing. It's got this kind of sexy stomping. Still very pop. Still very pop. Uh, a little bit more. There's a tiny bit of hip hop kind of sampling going on at the very beginning with the with the beats that kind of just sort of strutting thing and then it kind of like okay. got kind of flowery in the chorus or pre yeah or whatever it was uh -huh. it, it lost me there but but I, I was, yeah i was kind of I was kind of into the dark sexy dangerous thing that was happening for a verse i tell you what i heard was heavily Beck influenced. Oh, my God, you're right, Beck. Mm -hmm. From the lower register voice, he's doing that Elizabeth Holmes thing with his voice. <laughs> um, I liked it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I like it. It's definitely way more modern, but it also sounded so Beck-like from, you know, that kind of swallowing your voice thing that Beck does. 
to the hip hop influence. <laughs> doing my hands like this. Yes. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing. Why am I doing this? Uh, he's doing all the Beck stuff, and then even in even in the chorus, which is a little bit maybe uh, Stone Roses y, like kind of psychedelic Brit, Brit rock sort of, like a little bit funk funky. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's also Beck, right? Because Beck, I mean. Yeah, can fits into so many. It's you know kind of midnight vultures-y. Yeah. This is a little bit more hippie, uh, psychedelic yeah. thing, which I'm not as into. Um, I'll be honest, it's a little too back for me. It's a little too back for me. Uh, so one of my favorite bands is the Dandy Warhols, and I think they're a pretty consistently great band. They don't do an enormous swath of different sounds and things, but the Dandy Warhols are the they are the band that should be doing that, right? Like, I, I think Beck is sort of has, he's always been so indie. It's always about sort of a crumbling vibe. He's getting uh, it there. Yeah, it's always kind of like, a, yeah, he's getting there. But the Danny Warhols have this sort of complete power over that washy psychedelic. Noise mm-hmm. in the background, dance. sirens and dance. Yeah, uh, so it almost Drugs. feels like they might have gotten. They wanted to be dandy-ish, dandy. They wanted to be sure that sexy that. vibe. Oof, yeah, yeah, really love it. Real sexy, but gross. Mm-hmm. Like you kind of feel Pretty bad. Sexy. Like yeah, I shouldn't have done those drugs. <laughs> I'm gonna regret that later. Yes, yes, it's exactly yeah. like that. Wow. Interesting. Well, yes. I think this was a pretty good experiment. We Me even too. we even bent the rules a little bit and and went a little bit further than we were required to. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, I guess if we do have a comment section or come find us in our Discord channel and let us know what you thought yeah. about Tester Reflex uh, and wild, Wildling or Wilding. Wilding. Wild Wildling, like a child who's wild. Let us know your thoughts, mm-hmm. and and Brother, then I, I think we did it. I we'll think this, share them. this is our first segment of D Six Degrees of Jump Little Children. This is our first Biv Bros show. Uh, Pow! I think we did it. Okay. Yay! Great. So, <laughs> uh, congratulations, and, and until uh, until next time. Oh yeah, great. I'll see you next time too. I'll see you next time. Yeah. Um, Down on the Pit Pro Show. Yeah. Come on in and have a good old We've time. been recording this one have segment. This is the fourth time? Rose. Third time? Fourth time? Fifth? We're having a good time, never a bad time. Having a fun time, never a dumb time. Down on the Pit Pro